Alrighty, so for those of you that don't already know, there's been some interesting news that has broken from Bloomberg, um, essentially on a offer that SeaWorld has presented to Cedar Fair. That offer comes in the format of $60 per unit, around $3.4 billion. For those of you that don't remember, Six Flags actually made an offer about a year ago. Again, I could be wrong about the time frame. I've lost all ability to track time um, with COVID, but uh, Six, Six Flags made an offer to Cedar Fair about a year ago for about $70 a unit. Um, we've gotten a lot of DMs of people being like, well, okay, if they rejected Six Flags' offer, are they going to take SeaWorld's offer um, for $60? And yeah, that's a general, you know, consensus that they probably won't. But you also have to take into account that Six Flags' offer came in the form of stocks. Six Flags was going to purchase Cedar Fair using Six Flags stocks, whereas SeaWorld, from what we know so far, again, I'm going to use that, we don't know too much, but based off of what I've read today, SeaWorld is offering $60 cash per unit, um, around $3.4 billion. Um, and I do remember the purchase that Six Flags was offering was slightly complicated um, in the sale and the offer, and it was just a whole confusion. Um, but that aside, um, SeaWorld's is $3.4 billion, $60 a unit. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to talk about the whole Cedar Fair and Canada's Wonderland side of the sale because that's what my channel specializes in. There are SeaWorld en uh, enthusiasts and influencers out there that definitely can touch on their parks and chain a lot better. So I'm going to focus on Cedar Fair and Canada's Wonderland. Um, so hopefully if you're here to listen to the Cedar Fair and Canada's Wonderland side of it, this is the right video. With that being said, I want to ask you guys, what do you think about SeaWorld offering to purchase Cedar Fair parks? Do you think it's a good thing? What do you think it happen. I want to hear all your opinions in the comments down below. Genuinely, I want to hear them. I'm going to respond to as many as possible and I want to get the, like just a general um, feel for how people are feeling about this because I'm confused. I am confused. At first I was like, doesn't make sense at all. But now let's talk about it because I'm thinking this could actually be a really good thing. Let's talk about the pandemic side of things. Regional park wise, there are two parks that honestly came out of this pandemic stronger, and that is Cedar Fair and SeaWorld. Both parks, um, well, Cedar Fair was doing really good before the pandemic. SeaWorld wasn't doing really good before the pandemic. Actually, they couldn't even afford to pay uh, the bills for the attractions that they were installing. Going through the pandemic, they actually came out stronger. They started to um, really bring in crowds to their parks and drive attendance. A lot of that goes with not having any restrictions, but nonetheless, they've really came, come, come out of the pandemic stronger. And Cedar Fair is also breaking records um, at their American parks. A lot of their American parks are doing better than even 2019 pre-pandemic levels. So if it's two chains that are gonna merge, I would honestly really like to see SeaWorld and Cedar Fair merge because both are very different parks, but very similar at the same time. You have SeaWorld who is currently building large attractions at every single one of their parks, both water parks and dry parks every year right now. Um, and then you have um, Cedar Fair who's focusing on entertainment and um, place building on top of building those really awesome attractions every five to six years at their bigger parks. So if we take both company practices and merge them, you could really build a beautiful thing. Again, you have SeaWorld with some of the most beautiful parks out there like Busch Gardens, and you have Cedar Fair that's really focusing on the entertainment and place building side of things. This could really end up being a beautiful merger if it were to happen. Now with that being said, I wanna really stress that out if that were to happen. Just like the Six Flags offer, this could really mean absolutely nothing. This could go nowhere, lead to nothing, be nothing, and get declined without us even knowing. I don't even remember there being a discussion if Cedar Fair ever declined Six Flags. I think it just vanished. But with that being said, um, Cedar Fair stocks have been placed on hold currently um, with that offer and that news. Uh, again, I don't know if that's changed since I've recorded this video, but when I was recording this video, Cedar Fair stocks were currently being held. Um, but nonetheless, uh, what I'd like to see that Six Flags, uh, not Six Flags, SeaWorld does is newer or different attractions at the parks. For a park like Canada's Wonderland, we've seen B&M, B&M, and B&M, which is really awesome because if you look at Canada's Wonderland before the Cedar Fair takeover, it really didn't have much to offer outside of being a beautiful park. 
With that being said, I'll take those three B&Ms, but it would be really nice to change things up. I would like to see kind of like SeaWorld's little high thrill rides that they're currently building, even the smaller ones like Icebreaker, it ended up being a really cool attraction based off of what I've been hearing and seeing. Even stuff like that at Canada's Wonderland would be really nice and refreshing. I'm pretty sure a lot of the Paramount Parks would probably agree with that as well, um, that they're looking for something outside of a P&M. I know there's parks at Kings Island that have had a GCI added, and boy, am I praying that we eventually get one of those as well, um, and RMCs as well at some of the other Paramount Parks, but nonetheless, I'd really like to see the Sea World, I guess we'll call it Spark, I'm just making pulling words out of thin air now, um, at Canada's Wonderland. But I would miss if like Cedar Fair's management was to completely go away, which it wouldn't because it's a merger. I would miss some of the Cedar Fair things. I really like the focus on place building and entertainment that Canada's Wonderland um, specializes, specializes in, um, especially nowadays. Um, and I really look forward to seeing what they're gonna do with Winterfest. We didn't get to see that this year, unfortunately, because they only opened up what they had. But I really liked, I'd really really like to see what Cedar Fair has planned for a park like Canada's Wonderland in terms of place building and entertainment. And I wouldn't wanna lose that. With that being said, also, I wouldn't wanna lose the mock double launch spinner and the future wing coaster that are more than likely coming to Canada's Wonderland. Anyone um, would agree that that's probably the case for Canada's Wonderland. And I hope we don't lose those two attractions because I really look forward to the place and the location of those attractions that they would most likely end up. And I have a feeling if SeaWorld were to take over, we'd probably lose the wing coaster. Hopefully the mock double launch is a little too far in planning um, to be lost, but nonetheless, I look forward to a possible discussion and the uh, learning more information about what's going on between SeaWorld's offer to Cedar Fair and if it goes anywhere or if it doesn't go anywhere at all. And I'm definitely looking forward to what you guys have to say about this whole thing because honestly, this came out of nowhere. I don't think anyone was expecting this at all. But please remember that SeaWorld isn't in the same bad place that it was before the pandemic. It is a completely different company right now. Um, and Cedar Fair is always doing good and is continuing to do good with its American parks right now at coming out of the pandemic. So the two parks merging together would be a beautiful thing. And I definitely look forward to hearing and learning more. Thanks so much for watching my video today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the little bit of discussion I provided on the matter. There'll probably be more videos if we learn any more information. Thanks so much for watching um, and have an amazing week and stay safe with the huge snowstorm coming. Bye.